Ocean versus Chris Brown. All right, so last night they allegedly got into a brawl over a parking spot. So initially, first TMZ reported it, saying that witnesses said that it looked like Chris Brown was trying to give Frank Ocean a handshake over the whole parking situation debacle. But then Page Six is saying that their eyewitnesses told police that Chris Brown threw the first punch. So we don't know. But both of the stars took to their social media. So Frank Ocean tweeted, cut my finger, now I can't play with two hands at the Grammys. Got jumped by Chris and a couple of guys, LOL. I only wish Everest was there. Then Chris Brown Instagrammed a photo of he and his friends inside the studio. And he said, working on my album, not working on negativity. Focus on feeding your family. Bullshit will forever be in your shadows. Thoughts, five words or less. I'm swimming in Frank's ocean. An ocean of lies. Ew. <laughs> Solve this problem. Valet it. Hug it. Don't thug it. Words of oh, wisdom. Oh, so <laughs> witty, Sam. She is. Oh, you guys, stop. Okay, so stop. who do you guys believe? Frank Ocean, just because it's Frank Ocean and I believe anybody over Chris Brown. Exactly. What? <laughs> Are you talking about this man? Chris Brown has built up goodwill over years. When was the last time Chris Brown acted thuggily? I know. And now it can technically be called a hate crime because Frank Ocean has come out of the closet and Chris Brown oh, is still yeah. maybe in the closet. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that that's cool for you to punch a gay guy when he's yeah. just trying to make music and express to people how he feels. It's not cool to punch anyone regardless of their sexuality. I know, but I it's know, not a hate person. crime unless you're gay. <laughs> it's hate crime no matter what. What? If you hate somebody and you punch him, it's a hate crime. Chris Brown tries to look really hard, but how hard are you when you're like fighting over a parking spot? What so, I love about Frank Ocean's tweet is like, got jumped by a couple of LOL. guys, LOL. <laughs> That's like, passive aggressive. Funny about that. It's like when the bitchy girls write like, um, ew, that outfit's disgusting. Smiley face, it's like that whole, pet, you know what I mean? Like that passive aggressiveness that just clearly he's upset about it enough to like tweet about it. So with Chris Brown though, like you said, I mean, come on. like. From the altercation with Drake, now it's with Frank Ocean, from all the weird photos that you're Instagramming, I mean, he's not doing anything responsible about his image. So naturally, even if Chris Brown is in the right in this, naturally people are going to probably think that Frank Ocean's in the right just based on Chris Brown's past. That's yeah. great, because now you can just start shit with Chris Brown and everyone will assume that it's not your fault. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like you could just be like, uh, all right, have your friend like go run out behind him and get down on his knees and then push Chris <laughs> Brown over and be like, Chris Brown, why do you hate people that are on the floor? <laughs> and he deserves it though. I hate Chris Brown. I know. Who I like Chris Brown. I'm gonna just say, what? I, I've met the dude a couple of times and uh -huh. he seems like he's a really nice person, but then you just have to know, like I've heard horrible stories about him at the airport saying, do you know who I am? I'm Chris right. Brown trying to get people put out of the first class. And it's like, right. you can't, just because you're Chris Brown doesn't mean you can kick people out of the airplane with you. But. At the end of the day, he makes me say yeah three times. He makes me turn up the music. He makes me want to dance oh forever, God. and I just can't help it. Okay, let's say Chris Brown is in the right. Do you guys think that he can make a comeback as far, I know we know he has musically, but as far as like his reputation? You don't come back yeah. from that. It's like Lindsay Lohan, you, you're never gonna come back from that. He'll always be haunted by what he did to Rihanna. If he continued to be an advocate against domestic violence, if he continued to like demonstrate like responsible, be, responsible behavior, I think people could have started to forgive him, but he hasn't that, done that. Okay, so whose side are you on? I would have to say, just based on your past antics, Chris Brown, I'm on Frank Ocean's side. Frank Ocean, because he's hot. Ooh. Team Ocean. Oh. I'm with Ocean. Team Ocean. Team O, here <laughs> in the Pop Trigger Studio. Okay, so what do you guys think about Chris Brown and Frank Ocean allegedly getting into this brawl over a parking spot? Whose side are you on? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time on Pop Trigger.